North Korea is 6,423 miles from the US. North Korea has missiles that can hit the west coast of the US, the Taipo Dong 1. These missiles are fewer in number than the Masudan missile which can hit Guam. Guam is the closest inhabited US territory to North Korea. It has 160,000 people inhabiting it in just 210 square miles. 29% of the island is covered in US military bases. Its economy is fueled by Japanese tourists. The island is very well protected. The USS Nimitz, which has significant offensive strike capabilities, the US Royal Home Richard ARG, which has amphibious ready groups, and the USS Ronald Reagan, which also has offensive strike capabilities. Guam also has the Anderson Air Force Base and Naval Base. Guam is the furthest west US territory, so even though it has its own government, the US is still permanent in charge. Guam is the access point for America to Asia without having to deal other nations' rules. North Korea only really threatened Guam after President Donald Trump vowed to respond with fury and fire. North Korea has only ever threatened the US and it has never actually shot anything over Guam. Just Japan. Japan is protected by the US, so if it is attacked, the US will get involved. Japan has 1,594 aircraft, 700 combat tanks, 131 naval assets, 65,930,000 labor force, 175 serviceable airports, 43 point eight billion in defense budget so it can definitely defend itself although japan is the sixth best u.s ally behind mexico japan and north korea have had an interesting history in 1970 march 31st japan airlines flight 351 the yodo hijacking 129 hostages were taken by the japanese red army surrender to the north korean authorities who offer the whole group asylum. In 1977, November 15th, Yokota Megumi, a Japanese junior high school student, kidnapped by Sing Gwang Su and forced to train spies in North Korea. 19 1998, August, North Korea fires a medium range Taipo Dong 1 missile over Japan. Japan suspended normalization with Pyongyang. In 2006, October 9th, North had a nuclear test and, of course, more recently, fired a missile across Japan into the North Pacific Ocean. 1,180 kilometers off the Japanese coast after breaking into three pieces. It reached a maximum altitude of 550 kilometers or 342 miles, lower than most previous North Korean tests. Japan made no effort to shoot down the missile, but issued a safety warning telling citizens of Hokkaido to take shelter in a sturdy building or basement. Just before the missile test, US and Japanese forces had just finished the joint drill in Hokkaido, another annual exercise involving tens of thousands of South Korean and US military personnel is still underway. These events were most likely a key factor in North Korea's decision to fire a missile into the Hokkaido region. The missile tests over Japan have paid off for North Korea. It is now an established nation with proving they can threaten action against the US and fire missiles near a major US ally. Now that North Korea has fired missiles threatening a NATO country, this could become another Cold War or a mini World War III.